Hello, and welcome to the daily number workout for third grade. Today, our number is 36. So let's start off with our word form. 30. Six. And because six is in the ones place, this is an even number. So let's get into our factors of 36. So we have one. 1 times 36, which be 1 times 36 equals 36. Because it's even, 2 goes in, and it's 18. 2 times 18 equals 36. 3 goes in 12 times. 3 times 12 is 36. 4 goes in 9 times. Four times nine is 36. And six goes in six times because six times six is 36. Woo! You can do a lot of things with the number 36. You can divide it many different ways. So there we have it. Lots of factors. So let's move on to addition. So I'm going to move my paper up. We're going to do 36 plus 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 plus nothing is 3. 36 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. 3 plus nothing is 3. 36 plus 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. 3 plus nothing is 3. 36 plus 4. Six plus four is 10, drop the zero, carry the one. One plus three is four, so that would be 40. 36 plus five. Six plus five is 11, drop the one, carry the one. One plus three is four. 36 plus six. Six plus six is 12, drop the two, carry the one. One plus three is four. And we have 36 plus seven. And I'm gonna draw a little line here to so keep it separate. Six plus seven is 13. Drop the three, carry the one. One plus three is four. Then we have 36 plus eight. <laughs> Six plus eight is 14. Drop the four, carry the one. One plus three is four. 36 plus nine. Six plus nine is 15. Drop the five, carry the one. One plus three is four. And then 36 plus 10. Six plus zero is six. Three plus one is four. And we are done with our addition. Let's move on to subtraction. I'll move that up a smidgen. We're gonna start with the 46. 46 minus 36. Hopefully you can see all that. Six minus six is zero. Four minus three is one. 45 minus 36. Five minus six, can't do. Borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 15 minus six is nine. Three minus three, nothing. 30, I'm sorry, 44 minus 36. We can't take six from four, so we're gonna borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 14 minus six is eight. Three minus three is zero. All right, just remembering our facts here, our addition facts, our subtraction facts. 43 minus 36, six from three we can't do. So we borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 13 minus six is seven, because seven plus six is 13. Three minus three, nothing. 42 minus 36. Six from two, we cannot do. Borrow from the four, leaving three. We borrow one from the four, leaving three. 12 minus six is six. Three minus three, nothing. 41 minus 36. Six from one, cannot do. Borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 11 minus six is five. Three minus three, nothing. 40 minus 36, six from zero, can't do, borrow from the four, leaving three, making that 10 minus six is four, 
39 minus 36. 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 minus 3, nothing. 38 minus 36. 8 minus 6 is 2. 3 minus 3 is nothing. 37 minus 36. 7 minus 6 is 1. 3 minus 3 is nothing. So we're done with our addition and our subtraction. Good practice. It's important to practice. And let's move on to multiplication. So you should have done all this work. You're just checking your work and fixing whatever you have wrong. And let's move on. Multiplication. So we're going to have 36 times 2, because we know 36 times 1 is 36. So 2 times 6 is 12. Drop the 2, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So 2 36s is 72. Let's do 3 36. 3 times 6 is 18. Drop the 8, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. 36 four 36s, that it would be four times 36. Four times six, 24, drop the four, carry the two. Four times three is 12, plus two is 14. Let's have five 36s, five times six is 30. Drop the zero, carry the three. Five times three is 15, plus three is 18. 36 times six. Six times six is 36. Drop the six, carry the three. Six times three is 18 plus three is 21. 36 times seven. Seven times six is 42. Drop the two, carry the four. four or seven times three is 21 plus four is 25. So 252. 36 times eight. Eight times six is 48. Drop the eight, carry the four. Eight times three is 24 plus four is 28. Then 36 times nine. And this is two times that. Four and eight is two times. Two times four is eight. Two times 144 is 288. And it's the same here. This is two times three is six. Two times 108 is 216. It goes on and on like that. Lots of patterns. Nine times six is 54. We drop the four, carry the five. Nine times three is 27 plus five is 32. And then last but not least, 10 times 36. So we drop this zero. And then we say one times six is six, one times three is three. And remember any number times 10 is that number with the zero in the ones place. And we're done with our multiplication. Moving on to measurement, standard form of linear measurement. Linear is length. So let's get to it. Inches. So today's number is 36 inches. And we know it takes 12 of them to make a foot. So we're going to break it down into fractions 36 out of 12 or 36 divided by 12. So if we do 12 over 12 plus 12 over 12, that's 24. 12 plus 12 is 24 plus 12 over 12, which is 36. Now 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36. So we have a total of one, two, three, three whole feet. So 36 inches is the same as three whole feet. In yards, it takes 36 inches to make a yard and we have 36. So we have one whole yard. That's interesting today for our standard measurement. Now let's go on to our metric which of course is different than our standard measurements. So we have 36 centimeters, cause that's the number of the day. We know it takes 10 to make a decimeter. I'm gonna move this up a smidgen. We have 36 out of 10, which we can break down into 10 over 10 plus 
10 over 10 plus 10 over 10 plus 6 over 10. How did I do that? 10, 20, 30, 6. We have 36, so we're breaking it down into as many 10 over 10s as we can and then add the rest. So we have one, two, three whole, three whole, and six tenths decimeters. So 36 centimeters is the same as three and six tenths decimeters. And it takes a hundred centimeters to make a meter. So we have 36 hundredths of a meter. And we're done with the number 36. Boom. Have a great day.